How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and another Daz Watches. Growing up, um, I didn't really have a lot. I got things on my birthday and Christmas, if I was lucky. I remember the highlight of my life was um, the Ghostbusters Tower. And it came with the car, which... Oh my god. And you'd pour goo in the top and it would slowly like slime down through each floor. It had like three floors of the Ghostbusters Tower. That was it then. That was it till I was 25. I played with that <laughs> my whole life. <laughs> Some kids are born into wealth. And they don't even get a say in the matter. They just get fed golden pacifiers. Today guys, we're going to be reacting to the 10 apparently most spoiled kids in the world. I always try and keep my daughter like level-headed because she's been born into wealth now because of what I do. And I always try and you know, and she's really good with money. She doesn't like spending money. She knows it's worth. I think I've done a good job there, but I've never gone crazy overboard. But let's see all these kids sir, that we just love to hate. <laughs> let's watch a video. Here are the top 10 most spoiled kids on the planet today. In a field. Suri Cruz, daughter of A-list celebs Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes, has ever- Well, of course she- My god, that's a bad photo. Looks like she's saluting Hitler. Of course she- Of course she's gonna get spoiled. First of all, her dad's a legend, and she doesn't know if he's gonna come home from the next shoot because of the stunts that he does. Daddy, what are you doing today? Oh, nothing much. Just daddy's hanging off the back of an aircraft whilst it's taking off with no wire. Damn right you gotta leave us some money. Little Suri recently received a life-size playhouse worth $24,000. Playhouse?! Hold on, go back! I'd live there! Fucking flower pots and everything. That's the only children's playhouse where your child needs to take a mortgage out to play in it. Look at it! She's even got a guest suite. Imagine, imagine, imagine going to your friend's house and they go, oh yeah, come into my playhouse, we'll have a tea party. And then you walk in and it takes you an hour to realize it's not her parents' house. That's her playhouse. That's too much. It's got roofing tiles. Jesus Christ. Size playhouse worth $24,000. Complete with running water, elect- RUNNING WATER?! I HAVE TROUBLE GETTING THAT HERE! Electricity and heat for Christmas from her parents. The house stands eight feet tall and features an intercom system that connects to the main house. The little- My Jesus Christ. She's moved out, age eight. It's got an oven! AN OVEN! I had, when I was growing up, if I wanted an oven, it'd be one of those ones you put Play-Doh in. So when I ate it, what I made, that was the problem when we realized I wasn't going to be smart. <laughs> and even asked for her own puppy with a sparkling pink collar and dog tag. Yeah, I mean, you got to be realistic, though. I mean, if, you, if you've if you already given your daughter her own house, you could you could just say, look, listen, listen, okay? That's enough for a while. 24 grand. That's more than most people earn a year. To said, you cannot miss any item on that list because if you screw that up, that's years and years of hearing about it. And then... Well, that's, uh, she's gonna turn into it. If that's true, which I don't think it is, I don't think anyone would raise a monster like that, then, uh, that's, that's just bad parenting. By Mommy Katie. Her wardrobe is known to be worth over three million dollars, and- And she's still growing! She's gonna grow out of that three mil! Oh, God. Are our socks made of gold? She's been seen several times in what is known to be one of the most expensive toy shops in the world, FAO Schwartz, and recently had the privilege of staying in Cinderella's Castle Suite in Disney World. I didn't even know that was a thing. You stay in Cinderella's Castle? Well, I may not be a little girl, but I'd love to, to do that. <laughs> Priceless. But somehow, Mom and Dad found a way. Yeah, somehow. They just... can buy downtown Manhattan. Didn't Tom Cruise close down Disneyland once to take his kids there or something? Did I hear that right? I don't know if that was right. Well, of course, Prince George. I thought I thought he was going to be all the way up the list. When you have Prince before your name, there's, there's no problem paying the rent. Prince George is the crown jewel of the royal family. With a cute little face like that, it's no wonder he's so spoiled. The little prince even has his own trust fund called Plank Bridge, which he- How much is that? He's received thousands of gifts over his lifetime, and he hasn't even reached five yet. Last year, he received an iPad for Christmas, and- That's actually quite cool. I mean, most kids have iPads for Christmas nowadays. He's asking for a space rocket, as well as a model of a helicopter. Alright, space rocket and helicopter. That, alright, that, that pushes the boat out a little bit. He's a huge fan of airplanes and helicopters. For his second birthday, he received 706 gifts. How do we know this? Did someone just, like, look through his window and be like, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 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 Shit, I lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> How do we know? That's, a, that's such an exact number. 706 gifts. Damn. 
including a toy wombat, an amphibious boat, a possum skin cloak. A possum skin cloak, a what winner who win? They skinned a possum for their son? Jesus. Thomas, and a playhouse valued at 18,000 pounds. Wait one second, that's not a playhouse, is it? It's an old station wagon. Although we don't know what's inside, it might be quite cool. It just doesn't look like a playhouse. You know, Katie Holmes' daughter had an actual house. These are the royal family. You know, I feel they could have done better than that. A shed with wheels. The company made a nail clipper set for him made of 18 karat gold. And why? Uh, why? 18 karat gold to trim your nails. Just fucking bite them. Jesus. Have diamonds on it. Crusted with 350 diamonds. The set is valued at 1 million pounds. Jesus Christ. All that to, so he didn't scratch himself. Buy gloves. Oh, God, makes me ill. It's just so much money. Like, I'm, what can a million pounds do for someone? And he's only like, what, one or whatever? What kid is going to look at a pair of nail trimmers and go, yes. Yes. I, that's it. I'm coming off Fortnite forever now. I'm not playing games anymore. TV? Never heard of her. I've got gold nail clippers. He's not gonna give a shit! Petra and Tamara Ecclestone, daughters of Formula One racing honcho Bernie Ecclestone, are known for their lavish, over-the-top lifestyle. And lips. Seeing way too much lip filler nowadays, man. Am I the only one that doesn't find it that attractive? Am I the only guy? I guess it doesn't matter what I think. 20,000 pounds each. She opts for cellulite removal as opposed to going to the gym out of laziness and bemoans the fact that people judge her for her money, saying they see me as pointless and this really spoiled, really stupid, vacuous, empty human being. No. <laughs> Many people don't understand who I am and judge me on the fact that my dad has money, which must make me a monster. Petra, the younger of the two, recently purchased a mansion in Beverly Hills. My god. I mean, I am right. When I look, I've, I've bought this house, right? I own this house and I feel very grateful. It's four bedrooms. It's um, over three floors. It's, it's where I want to live. It's beautiful. I'm blessed. I'm, I had a bigger house before this one that I was renting and it was like a six bedroom, like big house. And... I just couldn't fill it up. I'm one of these people that I can't stand when someone has like a, a, a second, like a second living room. You know that room that you go through in the hall and you hang your coats up in these big houses and you go through a room with settees and chairs and no one uses it. No one ever sits there. There's no need because you're not stopping in that area. I can't stand having rooms that I don't need. I feel like I'm just wasting money. I have to have a reason for each room that I have. And my forever home, it'll probably be about the same as this, uh, maybe, maybe five bedroom um, to have a nice guest room. But that, I don't understand. If you're just one skinny bitch, how, why do you need all that? Worth 85 million US dollars. 80. You guys are gonna have to watch a lot more of my videos if I'm ever gonna see 85 million. Was once considered the most expensive home in the US. She spent around 12 million pounds on her wedding, which took place in the medieval Italian village of Bracciano, the same place Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes got married. Oh, maybe their daughter, like, has a house at hers as well. The wedding featured performances by the Black Eyed Peas, Andrea Bocelli, and the Philharmonic Orchestra. With lifetime access to their father's $4.8 billion trust fund, these girls are considered some of the richest young women on the planet they do do they do they they release statements saying we're not useless living off daddy's money but what do they do i don't know i don't want to judge them too quickly you may have come across the video of the girl who broke her macbook on youtube nope never seen it this viral gem has racked up over half a million views since it's been posted probably due to the sheer disbelief of how spoiled the girl could be this little girl who can't be more than 10 years old is seen on her bed I thought she was 40. I thought the bitch was 40. Her mom apparently gave her the wrong phone for her birthday. It was a Samsung S6 and she specifically asked for the Samsung S6 Edge. Oh no. Damn. Meanwhile, on the other side of the planet, there's a kid without a roof! Upon opening the phone, this little girl got so angry that she smashed one of her four MacBooks. She tells her viewers that her family can't afford another MacBook right now because they had to pay for her medical bills when she broke her foot, smashing in her MacBook. She broke her foot with her MacBook. Daughter's about- you're not actually a real princess, okay? Santa Claus isn't real, Easter Bunny is not real. There's a point where you have to kind of explain to them that, yeah, I call you that. You're not actually, though. 
Otherwise, this happens. For MacBooks, explaining how each one is important. One is used for sending messages, one is used for blocking messages, one is used for replying to messages, and one is special because it has a pink keyboard. I'm no Apple genius. Um, never worked for Apple. Uh, not the most knowledgeable about Apple. But I'm pretty sure that one laptop can do all those things. But, yeah, you get my point. So, um, thanks for watching, and please donate to me. No! <laughs> No! I donate money to stop the spread of cancer, not encourage it to grow. Thank you. All right, let's move on. Chase McKenna is a master manipulator. She became known as the most spoiled child in the country. After Who is she and why? It was revealed that she can convince her parents to buy her anything she wanted despite them not having the means to do so. She demands things like Ralph Lauren jeans, Gucci t-shirts, and designer boots. She doesn't do Primark. I can't imagine having a kid and them holding me to ransom like a terrorist. What is that with those parents? They give in and just, you know, go bankrupt so their kid can have an expensive item. I, I don't get it. And are way behind on their utility bills. Chase's pony eats better than they do. It's a shame. Yeah, but I, I find it hard to feel sorry for the parents. If, if their daughter has a quad bike and a pony on tap, and they can't afford to do so, you, you're morons. If she moans and is rude to you, just... <laughs> on the back of the head! So you do! <laughs> Insta-famous daughter of billionaires, Julia Stakie... Instantly, wh whenever I hear that someone is an Instagram model or Instagram famous, I just tend to avoid them. <laughs> so, uh, they're, they're always that type of person you think they are. They always are. Is known to be one of the richest young women in the world. She received her first Louis Vuitton handbag at the age of nine. And you know, right, side rant, okay? Once upon a time, I had a girlfriend. She, uh, she lived over in LA and I was thinking of something for Christmas, something really special. And I remember she saying that she needed a new handbag. I knew nothing about handbags, okay? And uh, so I went into the, uh, when I was at the airport, there was a Louis Vuitton store. I thought, ah, those are like those really nice, kind of expensive handbags. I think, all right, I love her. She's worth it. I go in. I look at the price of the handbag, and I nearly regurgitate my fucking lungs. The ba- The bag on its own was something like 10 grand or something. It's, and it was little. You couldn't even put shit in it. That's not even the big ones. That's the little one. We can put your sunglasses in or maybe a lipstick. 10 grand to hold your shit on your shoulder. And then, and then next to it, right? It didn't even come with a strap. You had, to, you had to pay for the strap as extra. That's like going swimming and have to pay money to put fucking water in it. <laughs> the strap on its own, on its own was two and a half grand. The strap. <laughs> Fuck me. In the end, I got her a board game. I said, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you so much for suggesting this video. Stay humble, please, okay? Don't be a brat. And like that across this channel, and I will see you in the next one. Stay dazzling. <laughs>